guys how's it going hope you all doing good so all the stuff i've actually had for a while i bought most of the stuff like two months before i actually went to maryland death fest so i've had all these since like early may late march but i don't know why i never ended up doing the video so I might as well do it now so this is what this all the stuff i bought when i went to amoeba records a few months ago so it seemed like a good time to do it so why not First, and this is going to be all vinyl by the way, no, I bought a couple CDs, but I'll just do a separate CD update later on. So before we get into it, if you can hear it, today's soundtrack, the okay of course, I've been listening to a lot of Book Nagar lately, I'm not really sure why, it's been scratching a good itch, I've been working my way through the discography, but yeah. I only have the first four, but I'll get the rest eventually, so yeah. Not my favorite, it's definitely a little bit more progressive, my favorite's probably the second record, The Olden Domain, but... I believe this is the first one without Garmin vocals, they had ICS Vortex, and this was the last record with, what's his face, the dude from, that was on the cover of Pure Holocaust who killed himself, yeah, it was his last record that he ended up killing himself, unfortunately, but yeah, awesome drummer, so yeah, good shit, definitely want to do more, one of them bands from Norway, but this record's a lot more progressive than the other stuff, but, at least the first two, but, oh well, speaking of old, black metal this is Arcanum with Kostog here so these guys are from Sweden but to me they sound a little bit more or Norwegian than Swedish this to me sounds like like the first Doe times good maybe but it's definitely it has still a little bit of the se Swedish sensibility like melodic wise but it's not like dissection or any of that stuff it's definitely more mid paced and slower but if I have one problem with this record, it's the vocals, not the like typical black metal vocals, those are awesome, but randomly there are these kind of out of clean, out of place clean vocals that sound like someone's little kid just like randomly talking to his dad about something. I don't know why they decided to add those. That's not the way to do clean vocals, is have some little kid do it, but besides that, I'm still good though. Mostly kind of mid paced and a little bit faster than this, sometimes it was like super slow and just like. Not doomy, it's kind of more like, I don't know, it's kind of slower, but anyway, there's the front, back. Besides those out of place clean vocals, that's the only complaint I have about this record. This band's first three albums are awesome, and if any of the other ones are worth checking out, please let me know. I'm not familiar with anything after their first three records. In a sheet. One of the, I think this is their second record. I know it's not their debut. I want to say it's either their second or their third. I'm not super familiar with this band, like I said. And these are some black vinyls. So I'm not going to bother pulling them out. Double up here. Shit, yeah, man. Definitely not the one of the. Definitely not my favorite black metal record of all time by any means, but still a good release. Except those kind of shitty clean vocals. I don't really fit. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the last record I need by this band, and now I have all four full lengths. This is the debut Skeletal Remains record, Beyond the Flesh, from 2013, I think. 2013, 2014, right around there. So these guys are from California, and I saw them in Maryland Death Fest, and they only have... This guy, the main guy, guitarist, singer, the only original member. For some reason, they changed members a lot. I'm not really sure why, but... I don't think the guys they have right now in the band have been on any records yet, so. Maybe we'll get one late this year, early next year, but who knows, so. I would say this record, probably my least favorite of the four, but all four are awesome. To me, this sounds, I would say later on, they got that kind of like more morbid angel-y, which there's still a little bit on this, but I say this reminds me a lot of the first sinister record cross the sticks especially production wise but vocally it's definitely honestly all the four full lengths you could tell he was listening to a lot of like pestilence especially consuming impulse vocally wise and some like early john tight influence especially slowly we rot has kind of like that super dehydrated kind of gross snaggly vocals that martin had but anyway there's the front and it's mostly it's pretty fast but there are some slightly slower parts but it's mostly kind of faster but anyway there's the front awesome album cover definitely the best artwork of the of the four though 
There's the back, guys in the band, like I said, the only original guy left. Collage. Just black, doesn't come with the inner sheet. Let me show that better, you can see the lyrics. Okay, man. Definitely not reinventing the wheel, but definitely a great record. Probably my favorite death metal band of the 2010s, but yeah. Alright, so here's one of the more underappreciated records from the Greek scene, I would say. This is No Goal with the Wizard of No Wrath, so to me this doesn't really sound that Greek, it sounds more... I would say early Norwegian or early Polish. Maybe like the first EP and first falling from Behemoth. Early Graveland, like the first album, not the, any of the Viking stuff. That Those two musically kind of like with Vogue style vocals, but it, I think it's the first song where it's not even vocals, it's just like random screaming on top of the music, not vocally at all. It's like random like high pitch yells but and this is a lot faster than a lot of the greek stuff because if you know the greek scene you know that stuff's more like kind of slower almost doomy with sort of like a death metal production this is definitely more like typical like a little bit faster slightly norwegian sounding but there's some slight keys in the background too but you can there's times where they're like more up front than other times they go like different variants being more up front in this song and more in the background and vice versa but yeah definitely one of the better records from the greek scene i think deserves more love so anyway cool cover art back i thought these guys were polish at first when i first heard this because it sounded like that but i realized they were greek and they don't really sound greek at all but and i believe they have I think two more full lengths after this. I haven't heard them, so if they're worth checking out, let me know. But yeah. If, again, if you like early Polish stuff and early Norwegian stuff, but you want something that sounds like those sounds, but not specific, specifically from the, either of those countries, this is definitely a good record. And this came out through NWN, so yeah. No Gall, Wizard of No Ass. Check that one out. Uh, here's another band I saw at Maryland Death Fest. This is the Ruins of Beveras with the Phallus Semen of the Sheltered Elites. Yeah. So this band is from Germany. It's mostly, I think, a one-man project, but... I don't know what you would classify as. I know he used to be in a German black metal band, but... This, I would say it's like... Atmospheric black metal mixed with... Death Doom? Kind of? So, like... I don't even know what you compare it to. It definitely has this very unique sound. I don't know another band that sounds like this. Maybe I would say if like early Anathema was more black metal sounding, but that's still not right because I don't think they sound like Anathema. It's just like I don't know. They very have. They very much have their own unique sound. It, it doing them, put trying to pigeonhole them in a specific genre. I think is a disservice to this band. They definitely do not sound like anybody else. But anyway. I'm not super familiar with this band, this is the only album I have by them at the moment, unfortunately, but they were great at MDF, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting some more of this stuff. I haven't checked out their last record because people said it sounded like type of negative, which I'm not a type of negative fan, so I didn't bother checking out the last record. That's kind of dumb, I probably should make my own decision, but oh well. This is my favorite what I've heard so far, but anyway, there's the front, and there's the back. I got through Van Records, and I've talked to some people who are more into this, who are more familiar with this band than I am, and they both said this was their favorite record by this band, so maybe I chose a good one to start with. Double LP. Awesome red and black merge. It was kind of like, like Lava or Blood. This doesn't say what this was limited to, I'm not sure. And both LPs are the same, so I'm not gonna call them out, but anyway, another the order sheet with what is it? there's the new one from i think last year i still need that macabre moment and the storm keep ep also that storm keep full it needs to be repressed again here's a poster just the album cover 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, these guys are definitely a fantastic band. I need to get a lot. I need to get the rest of the albums. So, if you like atmospheric death, doomy black metal stuff, check this out. Awesome record. <laughs> Alrighty, and going from something kind of pretty atmospheric to the complete total opposite. If there was one band in black metal that is the king of awesome album covers, these guys reign supreme. Maniac Butcher, this is Barbarian, so I think this is their first full length from 1994. Yeah. Again, it's the only album I have by these guys, but I think they're from, what, the Czech Republic, the same group as Masters Hammer, but... Th those guys are definitely a lot more weird and experimental. To me, these guys sound like, um, specifically... Where is it? They sound a lot like this era of Immortal. Though it's different vocally, I would say it sounds like that album from Immortal with Mika from Impaled Nazarene doing the vocals. It's definitely more like, kind of crazy vocally, but... And I would say it's not as fast as that Immortal record, but I would say it's almost as fast. Definitely the production reminds me a lot of that and the guitar tone, but that Immortal record, even, like the first four, they have very weird ripping style. It's very unique to their own, but these guys aren't as weirdly, like, not technical, but just kind of like experimental riffing wise. They're definitely more straightforward, but anyway, these guys definitely win the album cover race. I mean, that's ridiculously awesome. There's the front. There's the back. Wait till you see this picture. So there's this. And then behold the greatest band picture of all time. <sighs> That's fucking hilarious. This just put out on black vinyl, I think. Yeah, black wax. So if you want something like Immortal with kind of more crazy vocals, check out this. All the records are awesome, this is definitely my favorite. Maniac Butcher Barbarians. Best album cover ever of the band give up. Alright, complete opposite again. This is a band I'm not really a huge fan of because they have like 25 fallings or something ridiculous, but honestly, their first three is all really all I need, but that's just me. Overkill Taken Over. This came out in, I think, 86? No, 87, that's right, because the debut was 85, so. Definitely the, of the albums I've heard, definitely my favorite record by, this, by these guys. For a while, I couldn't get into Overkill because Bobby's vocals are kind of weird. And after a while, it's like, dude, okay, I'm done with you. But that being said, this definitely has the best songs on it. Like, Deny the Cross, and Wrecking Crew, Fatal of Swallowed, and Union We Stand. But what was this? I think there's a few good, like, kind of more mid-paced songs to break up the faster songs. So it's not all just, like, faster. Because I like a lot of... Thrash just has like mostly only fast songs, but sometimes after a while you need something to break it up so it's like doesn't seem to sound the same from song to song. This definitely is a good a good mixture of the fast and slow songs. But for a while I thought these guys were a glam band, honestly, because they look kind of glammy from the album cover. I'm not gonna lie, but once I heard the music, I'm like, oh no, you're just an idiot. But anyway, there's the front, back. This is their second full length, if I didn't say, and they look really pretty glammy there. Or maybe that's just the big hair. Lyrics. So if you're going to check out one Overco record, I definitely suggest this one. Just listen to the songs, Deny the Cross, Wrecking Crew, and In Union We Stand. Those are definitely my three favorite, three favorite songs, but yeah. Overkill, Taken Over. Are you changing gears yet again? Kind of. Though Heim's Gun, Monumental Possession, definitely my favorite DHG record. Though I, I know some people that don't like this one as much as the other stuff, which I get it because it's definitely a lot more thrashy, has a lot more in common with bands like The Mighty Absu than 
say dark punk because their first record was more kind of straightforward black metal but slightly experimental and after that they got after this they got even more kind of weird which that stuff's okay but i definitely prefer this record's definitely more straightforward and super thrashy but i wouldn't call it like black and thrash it's more definitely like these guys like i said because i think it's like straightforward black metal with the thrash metal attitude if that makes any sense but it's like a black metal band making a thrash record sort of but i don't know but super high energy lots of great instrumentation awesome vocals sweet guitar tone but definitely my favorite record by them so yeah fun kind of boring album cover but whatever there's the back and for what i've heard they did one record that was absolutely garbage i haven't checked that one out yet but i'll make that decision for myself this is black yeah black simple labels i think this is peaceful yeah peaceful reissue when this came out originally uh, yeah 95 originally it doesn't say what year this is from i think 2021 to 22. so yeah, man if you want do Himes got at the most we actually check out this record awesome stuff and if you're also a fan of like these guys in disaster from germany this is the record for you definitely my favorite so yeah those times god monumental possessions all right he's speaking of thrashy black metal we got sabbath with kamasa yeah kamasa but these guys i would say are more like if the, if Dunheim's good, that record was a black metal record with thrash influences. I would say this is definitely very much thrash with black metal influences. But these guys basically take the formula laid by the first two Venom records and an early Bulldozer, it's especially what's the final apparition. I think that's the one or XI those two records and basically make those records over and over and over again. You get Sabbath, but. Arguably my favorite Japanese band, definitely my favorite Japanese black metal band for sure. All their records are fantastic. I checked out every full length like a couple months ago. I was in a big black thrash pick for a while and every full length is fantastic. But it's definitely one of their highlights in their entire discography. But yeah, there's the front. There's the back. And if you know their discography, they it looks more intimidating than it actually is a metal archives. If you see all the releases, it's like, holy fuck, which you just want full length. It's only like 10 or so, so it's not that intimidating, but... They have like a hundred live records or something insane. So if you want to be in complete and get all those, good luck. Ridiculous band photo as expected, but oh well. It's black. Yeah, black. Simple labels. Put this out. Was it NWN? Yeah, N NWN. They like the black and thrash. And it came with a kind of strange poster. Yeah, I don't know. It's like baffle made kind of, but it's done kind of shitty. And also, this has the lyrics on this. If you want to read the lyrics and you don't want to hang up the poster, you have to do that. I wish you had the actual lyric sheet, but I don't care about lyrics anyway, so it's not like I'm going to read that. And the poster's kind of not that good, but yeah. Definitely the Kings of Black Thrash, if you ask me. And probably my favorite band from Japan, it's either them or Anthem. It depends on my mood, so yeah. Sabbat Kamisa Alrighty, so last two Necrophobic Death to All So this is the I'm not gonna guess which number we actually But this came out in 2009 originally I think on Century Media This is a 2022 Century Media reissue not one of my favorites by them, but it does have arguably my favorite song by them, which is Revelation of 666, which I don't think they played that song at MDF. I know they didn't. I don't even think they put anything from this song. I think they played, like, stuff from the first couple records and a couple new songs, but definitely one of the best black death bands, in my opinion, and if you don't want to call them straightforward death metal, because they definitely have a lot of black metal influences, though I would say this is a little bit less than the first two and some of their other records, but the fourth record I still think has the 
the least amount of Black Widow influences, but this has more than that, but definitely less than the other ones, but not one of their best records, but still a, a solid record, but anyway. Anyway, yeah, it's mostly kind of like faster, but I would say these guys are like, if Dissection was a death, was a Black Widow band with death metal influences, I would say these guys are a death metal band that have like some slightly melodic Black Widow tendencies. Well, okay. More like death metal musically with black metal vocals and production and a little bit of riffing style, but oh well, I'm sure most of you know this band anyway. So there's the front, back. Yeah, I know, kind of weird album cover choice, but oh well. Gatefold, yeah, yeah, I know. Pretty odd. In your sheet. with the poster i think which i have i think like all of the records except the third and no the third antichrist is that the one i'm missing yeah the third antichrist and the womb of lilith and i'll have them all i seem to get those two double-sided poster guys in the band and then that back cover again yeah, man, if you want to check out Necrophobic, I suggest check out Dark Side or honestly some of the the last two. But this is definitely not a bad place to start, though. But yeah, ne Necrophobic, Death to All again, not one of the best, but still a enjoyable record. <laughs> uh, you, you know what they say: save the best for last. Ethereal Nord, definitely one of in my top five Swedish black metal records of all time. I say that this is probably not even my favorite record by them. My favorite is probably the rec the album after this. Fuck, I can't remember the name of it. It has the guys on the album cover. Fuck, it'll come to me after this video. But anyway. Definitely, I would say, super cold, mystical-sounding take. Like, the first Immortal record, early dissection, and da -da 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 -da, early Marduk can mix it together. Not the super blasty, crazy Marduk. Oh, it was Lords of the Night Realm was the one I was thinking of. That's right. Duh. Like I said, not the super crazy, over-the-top, plasty modric like Panda Division. These guys would definitely get a lot faster after this, but I would say more like... This era of Moduke. This one called. Those are the unlikely that's right. But honestly, I prefer this to most Moduke records, to be blunt, but... And even the second record I prefer to most Moduke records, but... Anyway, that's not really saying much, but anyway, there's the front. Love the logo, one of the best album covers also. Definitely appropriate album cover that matches the music fantastically. There's the back, dudes in the band, tracks. It says limit, it says, you see the number, it says 36. I'm not sure what that's about, it doesn't say the limitation, but. This is put through Crypto Projections, which is under license from Napalm. Lyric insert, I think. Nope, just some random bullshit. Doesn't even have the lyrics, but oh well. You can't, it's fucking black metal. You can't understand what they're saying anyway, so. Not like that matters much. Simple labels, I'll show them anyway. Shame, man. First two Sophia records are definitely some of the best stuff to come out of Sweden or from the mid 90s to begin with definitely one of the better bands from the 90s scene in general but especially from sweden so yeah if you don't know the first two ethereal records get on that essential listening if you ask me so it's ethereal nord <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Wasn't too long, but yeah. I'm not sure what I'll do for my next video. I've been contemplating maybe doing like a favorite non-metal album video, but I don't really have a lot of those in my collection, so it'd be kind of cheesy to say, here's an album I love that's non-metal, here's a picture, but... 
if you guys want me to do a favorite non-metal albums video, I'll do that, but if you want me to do something else that sounds kind of lame, let me know, I'll change my mind, do something different, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, peace out, take care, keep supporting fucking metal, bye.